Hi there, on this video, I will be walking you step by steps how I set up a WordPress site on Verpex. For those who are looking to know more about Verpex, I have created a review video of it. Make sure to check it out. Overall Verpex is a somewhat new web hosting company with excellent performance. Anyway, I bought this hosting for $6 on a 6 months plan on Black Friday sale, originally pricing at $90, it's decent cheap. That was about 94% discount. Now then, first select the plan you would like to purchase, this could be determined on how many website you would like to host, and the volume of incoming traffic expected to be received. I select the gold plan for I have no reason why would I select bronze instead, three of them were at the same price, if you take a closer look, it's all 99 cents, hence $6 for 6 months. This is the domain name box, this is where you should paste your website, domain name address, for example, example.com. If you haven't registered a domain name, Verpex offer one domain name for free for any plan purchased. I will use mine that I've registered on Namecheap. Select the billing period, how often do you want to be billed? Select the your preferred data center, this should be determined based on where about the majority of your clients or visitors locates. Confirm your order and add it to basket. Fill up the registration form and proceed to checkout. Once payment is completed, your hosting account is now available for login. But the hosting plan remained pending for approval. Wait about half an hour, the hosting should have active now. Meanwhile, you will receive an email from Verpex with your web hosting details. This includes your cPanel login details, name server to point to, FTP logins and so on. If you purchase the WordPress plan, then WordPress login should be includes. The first thing we will have to do, is to point our domain name's name server to Verpex. This step is mandatory otherwise your website couldn't even load it. But if your domain are registered with Verpex, then you can skip this. Domain name can be purchased on any domain name registrar. While I'm using Namecheap, I will be using Namecheap for demonstration. Though, the process of changing the DNS value on all domain registrar are similar with slight differences. Copy the name server provided from the email, and paste it on Namecheap. After doing so, save it. Back to the client's panel. We will want to log in to the cPanel to set up and install a WordPress site. Click here. Then click here to log in cPanel. Alternatively, you can also log in by clicking the link under the word cPanel provided on the email. Log in with the login information provided. Scroll down, and click WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Click Install New Copy. Then, fill up the boxes, like selecting the right domain for WordPress installation. Create your username and password. Select a theme. Then click Install. The link with wp-admin, is the WordPress admin dashboard. Bookmark it in case, you will have to come back later. Welcome. This is the WordPress admin dashboard. The next thing we will have to do is set up the HTTPS or SSL certificates. Back to cPanel, scroll and search for SSL TLS status. Though the installation of SSL should be automatic, this process is to ensure if everything is working fine. Select all boxes and click run auto SSL. About 10 minutes later, refresh your website. The HTTPS should be now working correctly. The only thing left, are furnish, set up and publish your WordPress site.